Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today I have my style video for the month and actually it's July and this is June's video. So I'm actually going to be doing two styling videos for the month of July. I'm a little behind on my videos and it just did not get up in June. June went by fast, I guess. I just, it just went too fast. But I do have another styling video coming up. I promise it will be up by the end of the month, but I just, I just, Got tra I got lost in all the try-ons, I guess. I had so many try-ons, I feel like, in June, which will definitely kind of slow down here because we are heading towards the Nordstrom anniversary sale, which is like my favorite sale of the year, and I always go crazy. I always do, I think I do like multiple sale hauls of those, so definitely you will see those coming up here in a couple weeks. But today we are going to be doing a styling video and I'm going to be styling the paper bag wasted shorts. You could also kind of put pants in there as well because I feel like these are everywhere right now. Like you literally can't walk into like Target and they're like every other pant is like the paper bag waist style. And I'm not gonna lie. It's a little tricky to style because I feel like, you know, there's there's not many ways you can really style these pants because they are a statement pant or short. Um, and I thought it would be fun to challenge myself to come up with different ways or just different ideas for you guys to style these and not feel like you only have to wear it one way. I am styling a paper bag wasted short today from Abercrombie. I recently got these and I love them. They are so cute. They're so comfortable. They have kind of like a stretchy waistband, um, a couple little buttons right here, but then it zips the rest of the way. A little tie that actually doesn't even tie into a full like bow tie. It actually just kind of ties off to the side, which I really like and I think is super cute. Um, it's a nice twill material. Um, I'm in a size small if you're interested in these. I'll also link a couple of different options um, at other places so you can see different maybe even a, like a pant style so you can just see um, different options in case you're not interested in this particular one but these are the ones I'm styling today and let's go ahead and get started all right so first up I have kind of the way I always think about wearing them and I just kind of like Whenever I think about paper bag wasted shorts or pants, I always just kind of think that is the way I should wear it and it is like this. Um, I am wearing a very, very fitted, kind of thinner ribbed tank top um, or you could do a t-shirt or even you could do a bodysuit if you prefer the bodysuit. For me, I just don't prefer it with kids and being out. And if I need to go to the bathroom, like I just I don't have time for that. So I just don't prefer the bodysuit. But I think a really nice kind of slim fitted tank is really, really cute with these because it definitely kind of makes this um, the focus. And it kind of gives you a slimmer kind of top and gives this, I don't know, it just kind of gives you nice curves. So this is what it looks like on and I love it. You could do a t-shirt, you could do a tank like this. Um, this one's like super affordable uh, affordable from Target. I think it's like $7. Um, so a really easy and most basic way, throw on little brown sandals. Um, but a very, very, like I said, this is kind of the way I think about wearing these pants and shorts every time I put them on. All right, next way to wear the paper bag wasted shorts or pants. Um, I think if you feel a little self-conscious on wearing something so fitted or something so tight on top, you could totally still wear your kind of like slouchier, um, maybe boyfriend t-shirt or tank by just kind of fully tucking it in. So just fully tuck that in and it still looks so cute all the way around and you're not feeling like so maybe if that's like right here is like your problem area or you don't just don't feel comfortable with wearing that fitted top. Um, just wear your normal kind of like slouchier baggier t-shirts or whatever and just fully tuck it in and it looks still super super cute with it um and you kind of still get the same effect of the paper bag waist but you also can have that kind of not so fitted kind of slouchier boyfriend top um so i love this way i think it's super cute super easy again very basic but just an idea that you can go either way so the third way I would wear the paper 
bag wasted high wasted short oh my gosh that's like such a long name <laughs> they need to like come up with a shorter name for these um is i would wear just kind of like a button up short sleeve top like this and find a top that kind of has that like hem or like a split that is really nice for front tucking into your normal high waisted jeans or high waisted pants um that's a great this is a great opportunity to wear them because i actually just have my shirt kind of hanging out the back in these and that's okay too you can kind of hide the cute detailing and still show the cute detailing right in the front here. Um, I think it's a really cute way to wear it. Um, I really love these kinds of tops because they allow you to wear these kinds of shorts and still kind of show all the detailing and it's just a cute way to wear them. All right, so I'm gonna share with you guys, the last two ways are very, very similar. I'm gonna show you guys two different top options. This top is not available, this is an older top, but um, the idea of it, maybe you have something similar in your closet, would go really nicely with these kinds of shorts. Um, so this is a off the shoulder, but it's kind of like a cropped, kind of wider, boxier fit. Um, so it's not that top that's like, super fitted um, and it's not like at the mid length, it's more of a cropped top. So you definitely have to wear it with a high waisted. There are definitely more cropped things out there. And personally, I just don't feel comfortable wearing those very, very cropped things to show the midsection. I just don't want to, um, but I think it's really cute to get a more kind of cropped. Um, so this one kind of hits right here. I kind of just slightly tucked it in because it kind of hits like right at the top. Um, and then I just left the back open like that. Um, and it looks really cute like this. So I'm gonna show you guys another top that kind of has that same um, slightly cropped look that you can kind of slightly tuck it and it still looks really cute with these kinds of shorts. All right, so the last one is this top. I actually just got it in from Abercrombie with this order um, and I love it. It is so beautiful. This top is like really beautiful, um, but it is really cropped. Um, so you definitely have to wear, you have to wear high waisted with it. Um, you couldn't, I mean, unless you really want your belly hanging out, which you could totally do um, if you want, but I just prefer to wear something high waisted. And I think it looks really cute with these um, paper bag shorts. I just kind of have it sitting right at the top here and then just kind of hanging over because it does have a little bit of a boxier feel in the back. Um, but again, a cropped kind of shirt like this looks really, really cute with these. Definitely shows off um, the shorts or the pants that you're wearing and allows you to wear these kind of cute little crop tops. Guys, so I hope you enjoyed the styling video. That was technically for June, but we're in July. Like I said, I apologize. Another one is coming up at the end of the month. So stay tuned. Make sure you are subscribed to my channel. Like this video if you liked it. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.